Hi, I'm Aubrey Mozino from We Make Movies. Editing video can be intimidating. To the beginning filmmaker, it can seem very technical and complicated. In this video, I'm gonna show you that it's super easy to get started editing. We're gonna use Final Cut Pro 10, which is very powerful professional video editing software, but it's also extremely intuitive and quick to learn. By the end of this video, you'll have your footage imported and will be well on your way to completing your first edit. If you don't already have it, download the free 90-day trial of Final Cut Pro by clicking the link in the description. Let's get started. Let's talk about how media is organized in Final Cut Pro 10. The library is the container that holds all of your media and timelines for a particular production. It's the first thing you create. Within a library, you can organize your media into events. Events are similar to folders in the Finder. You can create as many events as you'd like and label them any way that makes sense to you. Finally, projects will contain your actual edits on a timeline. You'll create a project to start a timeline where you can add and trim clips. First things first. To begin an edit, we need to create a library in Final Cut Pro 10. Go to the File menu and then select New, then Library. Let's call this library Smartphone Studio and press Save to create it. While we're at it, we'll also create a new event, which is like a folder on your Mac or similar to a bin if you've used other professional editing applications. Go to the File menu, then select New, then Event or press Option N. Let's call this new event Media and press OK to create it. Next, we need to create a project. The project is a timeline that will hold all of our edits for our video. To create a new project, go to File, then New, then select Project, or simply press Command N. There are a lot of project options you can set, but to get us going, we are just gonna go with the automatic settings. With automatic settings, the project options will automatically be set to the size and frame rate of the first clip you add. Now we need to import some footage. If you airdrop from your iPhone, your footage is probably sitting in your downloads folder. There's two ways to import it into Final Cut. With the media event we just created selected, you can open the import window by going to File, Import Media, then navigate to the folder. Let's select some clips in the import window. You'll see a lot of import options on the right-hand side of the window, and we'll cover some of those options later. But for now, just click Import on the bottom right-hand side of the window to import the footage. You can also drag and drop directly from the Finder into Final Cut. To do that, go to the Finder, go to your folder with your footage, in this case, the Downloads folder, select your first clip, then hold down Shift, Scroll and select the last clip. Next, go into Final Cut, select the event you'd like to import into, in this case, the event called Media that we created earlier, and drag either into the browser or the event itself. Next, here's how to preview and navigate through your footage. There's two ways of viewing your footage in Final Cut. The first view is called Film Strip View and is on by default. You can see your clip names displayed below each clip in the browser, and when you hover over a clip, you can easily skim through the footage. If you want to play something back, hover to the place you'd like to play back from and push the spacebar. Push the spacebar again to pause. The second view is called List View. You can toggle between Film Strip and List View by clicking this button in the top right of your browser. List View will allow you to scroll between your clips with the up and down arrows. And just like in Film Strip View, you can skim the footage in the thumbnail at the top of the list and start and stop playback with the spacebar. Okay, so now let's make an edit. Hover inside one of your clips and go to a place where you would like a clip to start in your edit. Click and hold inside the clip and drag to the right until you find a place you'd like to stop. Next, let go and click in the center of the selection and drag it into the timeline, which is where your edit will be created. Congratulations, by the way. Once you've done this, you're now officially an editor. From the timeline, push on the up arrow to move to the beginning of the clip and push the space bar to play it back. You will see the edit matches the selection in the browser. Now, go to another clip in the browser and hover to a place where you might like the clip to begin. This time, we're gonna use shortcuts on the keyboard to create an edit. Press I on the keyboard to set an endpoint. 
Next, hover to where you'd like the clip to stop and press O to set an out point. You can now drag that selection into the timeline as you did the last time, or you can press the E key to have the clip go to the end of the timeline. Now, go into your timeline and hit the up arrow to move between the two clips. There are a number of other keys you can press to make editing your clips really fast. Press the Q key to place the clip above the timeline. When you place a clip above the timeline, that clip will show when you play back, rather than the clip underneath. Press the W key to insert the clip between clips. Press the D key to overwrite over a clip. Press E again, and you'll see the clip added to the end of the timeline as before. Finally, let's click back over to film strip mode and quickly try this with a couple of clips there. First, click and drag across a clip to make a selection and drag it into the timeline. Now, go hover over another clip you'd like to add to your edit. Set an in point where you'd like the edit to start by pushing I, set the out point by pushing O, and then hit E to enter it into the timeline. Finally, go into the project and select a clip and start moving in between other clips in the timeline. Notice that the other clips will move out of the way to make room for that clip and automatically reorder themselves. This feature is called the Magnetic Timeline, and it's unique to Final Cut Pro 10. You can connect video clips above the timeline as well, and they will remain connected to the clips below as you move them up and down the timeline. What you have seen is the basic editing process of Final Cut Pro 10, and now you know all the steps needed to build your amazing video. If you'd like to learn more about Final Cut Pro, check out the next tutorial in this series here. And if you're curious about everything Final Cut Pro has to offer, but you still haven't tried it, you can check it out free for 90 days using the link below.